And lastly tonight, we move on to China. A 3.7 million square mile panda fuck pad. <laughs> China is one of the largest countries on Earth, and in recent years, they've seemingly been trying to get even larger. Satellite photos of China gaining ground. Island building to cement its claim over disputed territories in the South China Sea. Whichever country plants their flags on these islands and reefs could control considerable resources. It's also one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, with over 10 million barrels of oil moving through the South China Sea each day. It's true, China is building man-made islands to claim territory, despite several other countries also claiming those islands. Although, to be honest, I'm pretty sure they are all going to be unsuccessful, and I'll tell you why. Janice and accounting don't give a fuck. <laughs> the, the US emphatically disputes China's tactics, and, and earlier this week sailed a warship just 12 nautical miles from one of the islands, prompting this response. A possible threat of war against the United States leveled by a top Chinese military official. According to Reuters, Chinese Admiral Wu Sheng Li, in a video conference with U.S. Admiral John Richardson, said, if the U.S. continues with those kinds of maneuvers, there could be a serious confrontation, quote, or even a minor incident that sparks war. Holy shit! We could be going to war with China. And before you think China shouldn't make a mountain out of a molehill, I will remind you, they just made fucking islands out of the ocean. <laughs> but, but before anyone panics, I may have a possible solution here, and it involves this man, Grammy-winning saxophonist Kenny G. Let me explain. <laughs> Kenny G is a really big deal in China. In fact, throughout the country, his song Going Home is piped into shopping malls, schools, and train stations as a signal to people that it's time to leave. <laughs> Seriously, this has been happening for years. Just take a look. What do you mean is Kenny G still alive? Of course he is. The G is an immortal being untethered from space and time, floating endlessly on an eternal wave of pure smoothness. <laughs> and frankly, is it any wonder the Chinese people love that song so much? Just listen to it. Oh, that is smooth. That's so smooth. It's like wearing a mink coat in a bathtub full of lube. It's... It's almost impractically smooth. Listen, Kenny G is clearly our secret weapon. He has an uncommon ability to make the people of China stop what they're doing and go home to relax. If we could only harness that power of subliminal suggestion for good, we could all live in a slightly safer world. So... In the light of this week's events, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the future winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, <laughs> Mr. Kenny G! <laughs> you want these islands. I know you want them real bad, China, but I'm guessing you're feeling a whole lot more relaxed about the whole situation right now, aren't you? And I'll tell you why you are, because Kenny G is pouring liquid velvet into your ears right now. No one can start an international incident to this sound. Can they, Kenny G? Can they, Kenny? No, of course they can't. They can barely move. This is like being shot with a silk Anything else you'd like to add, Kenny G? No, I didn't think so. Because Kenny G lets his saxophone do the talking. And right now, it's telling everyone to calm the fuck down! That's our show! And thanks to Kenny G!